I'm Pastor Matty Ice, this is my associate Pastor Water, and we're going to get worked out by professional MMA fighters. I'm like Neo. <laughs> <Not Neo. laughs> we called Big Jeff. Hello. Is this Big Jeff? This is me. Can you, can you work me out? Like, put me through the ringer. Give me an MMA workout. All right, we'll be down in a bit. Okay, good. All right, thanks, Big Jeff. All right, see you later. I'm going to get worked out by an MMA fighter. We're going to drive down to Southern Illinois, and he's going to give us whatever an MMA workout is. I wonder if it's going to be like the kind of workouts I did while I was running cross country in college. <sighs> we'll see. Uh, I don't think Big Jeff was happy to see us, but I'll tell you who is happy to see him. Hey, Water! There she is. What? Road trip! It's Big Jeff! What? So Big Jeff, like, knocked people out before and kicked them in the face and, uh, you know, all that fun stuff. And so he is going to work me out, but he's not going to work me out like this. My first question is, should I wear the red one or should I wear the blue one? Oh, that one smells bad. Alright, red one it is. I'm going to get changed. Big Jeff is going to tell you what we are going to do in the workout today. Alright, so we're going to do some circuit style cardio and strength training. Oh, you're already changed. I told you I was going to go change. Alright, well, like I said, we're going to do some circuit style cardio strength training uh we're going to format it where it's simulating the rounds that an actual mma fighter would fight for instance an amateur fight lasts three minutes so we want to be able to push the pace for four or five minutes to make sure that you can withstand a three minute round and it's just about keeping the intensity and the cardio level high the entire time so we're going to work out for 15 minutes today 15 minutes okay so that's what we're going to be able to do so basically every boxing combination is just a variation of four basic punches, a one, two, three, and four, or a jab, cross, hook, uppercut. It's important that you breathe, just like in every other sport you've ever done, breathing is crucial. So, you know like in karate you see little kids and they say, hi -ya. I'm gonna have to turn this audio down because I'm gonna be yelling all throughout this thing, hi -ya! Yeah. yeah, so breathing out increases your power. It's the same thing in boxing. So do that same breathing whenever you throw a punch, all right? Okay. Who am I hitting? This dude's like eight foot tall. I'm sorry, that's just my face. <laughs> oh my, my face. goodness. That's my face. <laughs> I'll bring it down. Now we're going to throw in that four. Okay. So it's going to be a one, two, three, four. All right. As we're getting ready for this part so that we don't trip and fall during this first round, watch this video of Jeff knocking somebody out. Alright, for those of you who went and hired your own MMA fighter, uh, our timer is getting ready to go and get started, so start your five minute timer. Let's go. Let's go. One, two. Keep moving as I move. Oh, yeah. Keep moving, always moving. One, two. One, two, three. Good job. One. 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 One, 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 two, okay, one, two, four. Go that. Okay. So if this is the last hand you threw, I got the this next one. hand is the next one. Okay, because okay, you want it to flow. Keep that rotation. All right. You're going go. one, two, four. One, two, four. Good job. One, two, four. One, two, four. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One, one, one. One, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, back up, one, two, one, two. Good job. One, stretch for it, one. Okay. One, 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 two, one, two, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four. Good job. One, 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 two. One, two, three. Messed you up. One, 
One, one, two. Okay, one, one, two. Keep your hands up. One, one. Ah, I just got hit in the face. One, keep your hands up. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. moving you're gonna follow me everywhere I go you want to keep me in front of you but you want to keep you want to keep them at your jab distance so if I'm closing in at you you want to back up far enough that you're at a jabs length okay okay keep coming keep moving so this way one 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 two one two one two one two three Two, three, four. Good job. One, one, one. Good. One, 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 two. One, one. One, one, two. One, one, two. One. Got five seconds, flurry. Ah! Terry Dactyl! Ah, yeah! How was the five seconds yet? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take our one minute break and uh, we'll be back after a word from this sponsor. Have you ever felt like you were getting bitten, perhaps by a snake? The sting just lingers in there. You have the knockout of the night. The weight clings down until you're no longer able to do anything. Wear your venom shorts so you can kick hard and sting fast. Take these weights and I'm gonna do a full body workout so I can be stronger for longer. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That could be your next tattoo. Stronger for longer. Yeah. All right. So five minutes. Set that timer, Jeff. Oh. So I'm gonna do a bicep, squat, and up, and then thrust, and then down. Right. Right. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay. Oh, squat. Woo. Woo. Oh, that was too many squats. Woo. I don't even know what I'm doing. Up. There we go. And yeah, oh, bicep. Slow down a technique more than anything. Slow. Yeah, up, there. Yep. This is all about as many reps as possible, so. Think about four. If so Big Jeff said that this is too much weight for him. So right now I'm like kicking his butt, right? No. Oh. This is warm up weight, this is baby weight. No. <laughs> uh, so the goal is in every workout, is that no matter how tough this is right now, is that the next time you did this workout, you just do better than you did today. Okay. So that's the key. We want to track our numbers, we want to track our reps because that's how we're going to push ourselves at the next workout. So, if you're keeping track, I have no idea how many I've done, but what Go Jeff just down. said, we can count, but what Jeff just said, keep track so you can know that you're getting better, know you're improving. Anytime we do a workout, you have to know what made it difficult. What can make you better? What can make you stronger? Whether you're adding quantity, which means number of reps, or quality, which would be weight. So quantity or quality. Right now, I've got like nothing. Whew. How much time we got, Jeff? Still three and a half. Ah! <laughs> so when it hurts, you can just drop it for a bit. Yeah. Woo! For those of you who are watching, I usually run. Yeah! We're gonna take a quick little breather. Yep. So, for those of you who are tracking with us, six. This is like I've been knocked out on the ground on one of those boxes. I get 10 seconds to come back. All right, here we go. All right, 
Sorry, it's a biceps. But technically I've done too many already because I, I accidentally did two squats on one of the reps. Yeah, So sure. I've uh, overextended myself. By one squat. Yeah, and that's like my strong suit. Yeah. <laughs> Keep pushing it, you're in the home stretch. Well, yeah. in the home stretch. Home stretch, you are right now, two, one, you're at the halfway point. Let's go. Push through it. Stronger every day, you got it. Stronger every day. Let's go, you're past the halfway point. Oh, I can't do that one again. All right, let's take, yeah. take, take a breather. I'm gonna knock down again. Woo. Hold it, hold it, hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pick them back up, let's go. When you're feeling that burn, it's your turn. That's a good That's Tattoo that one on your rib cage. Okay. <laughs> Why are you tattoos? Why are you giving me tattoos on you? Well, you already have like 37. I'm fine. <laughs> Push. Make sure you're breathing. Hiya! Hiya! Push. Hiya! Okay. How much have we got left? You have three, two, one. Zero. You're in the last minute right now. Okay, here we go. Last minute. We're 45 seconds now. Hi, right, Jeff. Don't let me quit. I want you to slow and steady. Don't push it. Just get here. Gather your breath. Thrust it. Bring well, I gotta it do the squat gather first. Your breath. I don't have it, Jeff. Ah. You got it. Just don't stop. Just keep consistent. Ah. Don't worry about pumping out a lot of reps right now. Just worry about not putting the weights down again for the next 35 seconds. 35 seconds. It's like. It's like you just ran a half marathon. You got that last stretch. Or run Mount Top of Chow. You got that last mountain to climb, Jeff. Climb that last mountain. He's you're talking to you because that means less reps. You're Let's coming go. around the bed. You got 20 seconds. Pump it out 20 for 20 seconds, seconds, Matt Murphy. Pump it out for 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Keep going. Keep going. 10 hard seconds. Let's go. Make 10 good seconds right here. Push it out. Yep. Get two more reps. Two more full reps from the ground to the sky. Let's go. Get one more rep in. Get one more rep in. All the way up. Good job. Alright, we're gonna take a break now. We'll see you in a bit. I feel good about this because I was like, man, Murph's gonna breeze through an MMA workout. It's not even gonna be a big deal. No, it's all theatrical. Shut up. <laughs> As I'm drinking this water here, bare fruit and all the other logos, Jeff is gonna tell you why I just did what I did. Okay, so every round we're doing is meant to just simulate an aspect of fighting. The first round obviously was just the conditioning of a constant boxing match. This right here is to simulate just constant strain on your body. So in mixed martial arts, you'll see us go to the ground in a wrestling match and you'll have another full grown man on top of you. And you need to be able for three to five minutes to be able to push, pull, control that body weight. It's constant strain, there's not a, a break in between and that muscle endurance that we're working on in that round can sometimes be the deciding factor of whether somebody's on top of you punching you the whole round or if you're able to lift and move that weight off of you. So that's what that round was meant to simulate. So this round's strictly based off of cardio and just keeping your heart rate accelerated for a full five minutes. So this is similar to a lot of football, basketball conditioning with your foot fire drills. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna do 30 second burst of foot fire and then you're gonna go into a wrestling sprawl. So it looks a lot like an up down or a burpee, but to keep your mindset on fighting, it's to simulate if somebody is trying to take you to the ground and they attack your legs, Matt would wanna kick his legs out. So it's gonna be 30 seconds of foot fire and then sprawling to the ground, back up 30 seconds of foot fire. Hey, it's like we're doing burpees all the way through McLeansboro. All right. I'm ready. Another five minute round, are we ready? Yeah. Set, go. Yeah. 
See, I'm feeling at home on this one. Yeah, this until one's, you this like, one's in your wheelhouse. Until you tell me to change it up. Like, my arm's already a little gassed, yeah. and you're getting ready to tell me to do this thing. Yep, we're well, almost. Okay. Keep going, push, push. 30 seconds is actually, I feel like, quite a lot. It is. I mean, it allows you to just think and breathe. Yeah. Wow, Victoria's behind Five, the camera. She's so beautiful. Four. Three, I do what I can. Two, get down. Up. Up, yep. You're just going down and straight back up. It's just like as if somebody was shooting in on your leg. And if somebody was under you, keep moving, keep moving. If somebody was under you, the goal in MMA is that I would attack the back of their head, so I have them like this, and I'm gonna control them to the ground. So I'm keeping my legs away, and then I'm pushing them to the ground. So that's why you're going all the way down. From there, you would continue to control their weight. You could transition to a side control. You could transition to taking their back. Or if they're here, you could literally stand back up and take it back to a boxing match. Down. Back up. I did the worm one time in seventh grade during a, what was that thing called? A lip sync battle. Yeah. And uh, I sang Sadie Hawkins dance, but we're like, hey, I did the worm during that little interlude thing. Yeah, I got second place. <laughs> Push it for six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Down. Back up. If you haven't gotten your pair of Venom pants yet, you should have. Water, she looks a little better than I do. Shows off her legs better. I got these sweet tan lines. All right, let me get rid of them out here. Push it for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down. Back up. Keep going, keep going. See? I wish this one was like buy one get one free and that arm thingy yeah. was half off. You gotta have a little bit of all of it. I feel like that one, two, three, four thing, I kicked butt and took names. Keep going for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down. Halfway point. So, in case you're wondering, a little story time. One time Jeff and I were playing around and we were on our knees. We were in front of kids at a lock-in and I felt like I, I had them where I wanted them. I was bouncing around and he didn't really play too well with the cardio. So I, I'm like, I have him. He, I'm bouncing around doing so well. All of a sudden a black bear attacked me. And like, before I knew it, Big Jeff's like, boom, boom, boom. And I thought I died. Down. He's so fast. And graceful. <laughs> Keep pushing, almost there, almost there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down. Back up, keep going, keep going. Going to the home stretch. It's like that running that mountain again. Yeah. You know, it's suicide cliff in Saipan. You're running, you're on the last corner. You can't see the top yet, but you know that's the last stretch. You come over that last little baby hill. You see the uh, the towers up there. Oh, tractor. Down. Okay, you're in your last minute. Go hard. Hard for one minute. It's the last workout. If you hired your own MMA fighter at home, last bit here. This is your last round. This is the end of it. You don't want to leave it in the judges' hands. You want to end this fight. Woo! So hard. This is where it comes down to who did the most cardio. It's like LeBron in the championship doing defense. Right down. Get back up as quick as you can. Keep going, keep going down. Back up as quick as you can, down. Get back up, foot fire, foot fire, foot fire. High knees, bring the knees up higher, bring the knees up higher. Down. Back up, down. Back up, down. Get back up. Foot fire, foot fire, foot fire, foot fire. Keep going, three, two, down. Keep going, back up, foot fire, foot fire, down. Back up, foot fire, foot fire, down. Back up, foot fire, foot fire, foot fire, down. 
Boom. End of the round. End of the fight. All right. For all of you watching, whatever your sport is, make sure you strike hard. Go after it. Get your endurance. Always do better than the last time. Show off a little. <laughs> Find the experts in your field. Ask them how to be better. Hey, I'm Pastor Matty Ice. I would pick him up, but I can't. That's Big Jeff. Victoria's behind you. Water's in the house. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to watch other cool adventures of making your best self wherever you go. Stay chill and float on. So, we're going to have fitness. I'm going to suck the lights out of you.